Good morning, everybody. This is Max Farrell. This is DexEffectCopy.com, and today is March 5th, 2018, and this is your daily update. All right, everybody, here's the deal. We are now in the real conversation mode. We've always been, I always have real conversations with you, okay? If you call and talk to me, I will talk to you like a real person, not somebody who's trying to sell you anything, not somebody who's trying to get more money or for have you stick around for a longer time or what have you, okay? I know that trading is tough, and I know it can be boring as hell, especially if you don't have a lot of control in it. Some of you have more control in the, well, you all have control in, on your broker side to where you can set the multiplier and and the balance that you have and, you know, just, just about anything, okay? But let me give you some advice here. And I'm telling you this because I want you to be extremely successful and I need you to make it easy on me, <laughs> okay? Because I work very, very hard for what I do, Okay? And if all you have to do is maintain your balance and follow a few rules, then please follow those rules to a T. Rule number one, do not trade your live account, okay? Do not trade your live account. This means that please do not if you if you've set your live account up, okay, or even in your demo account, do not do not trade your account in general. Okay, if you've set up a demo or a live account for us to do this thing with DexFX Copy, do not manually trade it. Okay, it's going to mess with the numbers. It's going to mess with me. It's going to make me go crazy because I'm I'm looking at the account which attaches to your account and the data sheet, and it's saying that you have a minus fourteen pip trade and I never seen anything come over for that so I'm running through everything trying to figure it out so please do not trade your account Two. do not be in a hurry okay I hate to say all these do nots all right I should be I should actually be switching this I should say be patient <laughs> okay be patient because the problem with most people is that you're, you're you're trying too hard to make it happen too fast okay if you put $1,000 in your account for a live situation, you should be using a one to two multiplier in this in this fashion. And when you first start, you should be using a 0 0.0. You should be just using a one multiplier, okay? You shouldn't be using three or four or five or 10 or what have you, okay? So be patient. I promise you, it, the consistency will, consistency will show itself. And we're finding it in more and more pieces of our, of our system. Okay, three, when in doubt, call. <laughs> if you have a problem, call the number. It's simple, 603-369-6875. That's right. If you don't get me, leave them. I don't know if you can leave a message on that line. Email. You can email max at Dex Trade or max at Dex Effects Copy, max at Max Farrow one at Gmail, my personal Gmail. I mean, it's there's so many different ways. There's a chat line right down here that you can put an on or offline um, a message. There is there's phone numbers. There's I, I don't know what else. If you have a problem, if you have a question, if you have an issue, call. If the if the conversation is going to take five to ten minutes, call. If it's supposed to, if you think it'll take more than a half an hour to, to set a consult. I know I'm very busy. Okay, all right. I'm gonna stop harping on that stuff now, and now let's go talk. Let's go look at the goodies. And the goodies is that you wait. You haven't seen this yet, have you? Okay. Well, we have several live accounts that are happening. Okay, and this is the results that are happening throughout the day for today. So far, we're lo we're loving life. Okay, we're loving life. Look at the, look at these numbers. Okay. Look at these numbers. These are great numbers because people have it set properly. This person has it set to a 0.3. Okay, multiplier. Started out with a low number. Okay, that's okay. Like I said, you know, you got you got to be patient. Now imagine these are the very the very lowest of the numbers. 
And these are the numbers we're doing today. Imagine when this is set to a multiplier of 10. Okay, or 100, which is a standard lot. This would have been a $900 day. This would have been a $482 day. Do you understand? So I think you guys are getting it. But let's jump over to the uh, max prime and look what happened. Look what happened. We started off with a pretty uh, a pretty raunchy day because, well, not raunchy, it was the two losses. USD CAD sort of failed us on the Grinch. This is the Grinch uh, for that process, which is, has been taken off because uh, we have a few close customers that have Oneida and the Grinch threw it in as a sell and the Vader threw it in as a buy, okay? And we can't have contradicting or hedging on some on some places so we took we're going to make sure that the max prime never has a pair that has it on twice just in case it can go once in one way and one in the other all right so what happened was two losses came off of the grinch right away i mean pretty quickly within an hour third three minutes and nine minutes not very happy okay so we took that off we took it off the grinch uh, and I and I manually stopped it here on this one at 4.5 pips. It would have ended up losing. It was it wasn't doing me justice this morning. But our winner for the Vader at still 94% came out 69 pips. It was a little higher. It hit 75 pips, backed up, hit our stop loss. Then I moved up, and away it went. Okay, so not bad for three hours. 69 pips. Did us good. Got us into the positive for the day and for the week. Okay. For the month. <laughs> Got us back in the positive. Okay. Now, let's do that. Let's go over and look at the Vader. Vader's kicking ass. Got to tell you. I'm very happy with it. Even though that we do hit losing trades in the process. Minus 49 pips. Off of this, it still put us in a 50 pip day. 50 pip day. So I want you to look at this process that this is this is pretty strong. All right? Now that we're listen, most of these equity curves, most of these processes that happen, they 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 look they're looking like this. Okay? And we're here. This is where we're at. Right? Right here. Or actually right here <laughs> you see so what it looks from here which we're hoping on is that we see from the numbers it comes in drops down a little bit more and off we go if that happens this becomes an equity an issue well not really an issue it becomes its own bits and pieces of the bot that we're going to be doing I'm going to pull out the the, the the movers and shakers, the ones that I know that get a good yield. We look at the summary right now. We only have a handful. There's the Euro AUD on the on the long side. The two, three. So much worried about that one. Four. That's a good one. All the USDCAD is great. Look at this. Ninety-five percent now. Stupid loser. <laughs> All right, so you see that there's one, two, three, four. There's some some really good movers in there that we can we can start to look at here. So Vader's going to get its its beta, and it's going to trade with the variables in there for the system. And then once it proves itself, because we had we had a beta not prove itself yet, it's the Odin beta. I had to go back and double tap and tri triple check the numbers again. Remember, I wanted to get enough data in there to be able to do that. So the summaries are going to be they're going to be moved around a little bit. Okay. So we have we have some we have some opportunities. We're going to be taking on some some major some major switches. Now we just brought on a new bot. New bot's called the fan, the Fran. We're gonna call it the Fran, like my grandma. 
Okay. So so far it's not too bad in the morning. We're only we're only trading on one pair so far. We're gonna start it out slow. This is this is the start of of a process. Like we we've we started with the Odin, we brought it in, we tested, 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 we baited it out, it goes to beta, test, test, test. This time and we put on 10 pairs and just let it go and try to figure out the mess in between. This time I did some pre-research, found out a pair that has a low drawdown, but yet a quick return. So we're gonna we're gonna use this. We're gonna use the Euro USD in this in this process. And I'm gonna slowly build its maturity. Okay. Slowly build its maturity into into the into the max prime. Now, what I mean by build its maturity is that normally all of our systems, okay, are 0 0.01. I'm going to eventually build this up to be more about profit, depending on its success rate over the next seven days. I'll build its profit margins up. I'll look at its return rates, its drawdowns, its risk and I'll make those evaluations. If I see the Fran has a really good opportunity, then I'll add it into the, into the, uh, into the max prime. Okay, because there's only really one pair here that I'm using. I might throw a second one on, but we'll see about that process. Okie doke. All right. Hey, look, this is this has been it's been a great day. The Max Prime. It's it's only Monday. Okay. Our account from the beginning is up 1.21%. Our equity curve is going in the right direction. We're heading, we're above. This is what I was looking to try to be above, right? I wanted to really be above this number right here. You see where it's, where it's tilting upwards just a little bit. This shows a good positive trend. And I like that. That's what I want. We started the Max Prime fully in January. Really hit in the Feb beginning of February right around in here. And we've been off to the races. Okay? Now, the Max Prime isn't about being a bot. It's about making the right decisions. It's about increasing and decreasing the diversity of our portfolio. That's what the max prime is. The success rates coming from things like Vader and the Grinch and Simply Forex, all of these things, that's what it's really about. Okay? It's finding out where the success rates are within these solutions and tweaking them and working with them and finding where where can we get these these higher end pushes look at look at this when we when we tweaked it here in the be the middle of february look what happened we started to climb we found the solutions and that's what you want a company to be able to do is to find the solutions so this is this is this is a ride for a year January of next year will be our first year that we've had the Max Prime running to this extent. Some of you had been on for more than a year at that point. And let's have a big party at that time and say, okay, what have we done? What have we done with it? I'm Max Farrell. This is DexEffectsCopy.com. Daily update. Today's March 5th, 2018. I wish you the best of luck. I want you to see you tomorrow. And as always, trade well.